Have you ever been curious about the story of a strawberry princess? That was a colorful and interesting fairy tale about a girl with a passionate love for strawberries. Wow! The sweet flavor makes me ecstatic! Princess Mary was always captivated by the sweet taste of juicy strawberries. Princess Mary was very intelligent and she loves to research strawberries. She lived with her mother in a town of the Aromatherapy Kingdom. A prosperous kingdom thrived by possessing the exclusive rights to a rare and precious fruit that was high-quality strawberries. Due to aromatherapy being a rare country in the world where this type of strawberry could be cultivated. And Barry's family being the only one capable of cultivating this rare and precious fruit was highly valued by everyone. Barry's mother was a famous countess in the town and she was the owner of the largest strawberry farm at that time. Perhaps because of that, Barry had had a constant passion for eating strawberries since she was a child. My beautiful daughter, you look so adorable. One day, a strange storm unexpectedly hit, and the entire strawberry farm of Barry's family is swept away by the storm. After huh? the storm, only a few small strawberries were left on the farm. Oh my god! How can we live on without the strawberry farm? Shortly thereafter, the aromatherapy kingdom experienced a severe economic decline, leading to widespread unemployment among the citizens and rendering the king powerless. With nothing left for her family to live on, Barry felt self-pity and helpless. I can't just sit here like this. I will invent a magical strawberry-making machine. Barry embarked on a challenging journey of invention, aiming to create perfect strawberries that will astonish everyone. At first, her invention seemed to have some effectiveness, causing great excitement among the people. However, the reality turned out to be different from what they expected. Her inventions not only consistently failed, but also even caused many troubles to the villagers. As a result, they gradually lost huh? hope in Barry's inventions. Those who were initially enthusiastic supporters of Barry then turned to criticize her. Is that also called great huh? invention? Feeling ashamed, she locked herself in her room, blaming herself as useless. Luckily, Barry had a wonderful mother who was always there to comfort her. This is the strawberry sorting glasses that you researched and gave me. Do you remember? Thanks to it, it has helped me a lot in my work. I hope that when you see it, it can help you regain your spirits. Through the glasses, Barry suddenly huh? saw the small strawberries that were left after the storm, which she had collected, shining like a glimmer of light in her mind. <laughs> Why didn't I even think of using strawberries to create strawberries? Hmm. After Barry changed her approach, a miraculous thing happened. One huh? by one, plump and juicy <laughs> strawberries were formed. Barry eagerly enjoyed the achievement of her work. Biting into one and savoring the sweet taste like natural strawberries. I did it! Not stopping there, the machine released a puff of pink smoke into the sky. Oh my! Is there any incident more? A gigantic pink cloud was approaching the ground, surprising huh? everyone in the town. Suddenly, a mysterious object fell from the sky, revealing a juicy strawberry. Unlike dark clouds that would bring storms, <laughs> the pink cloud caused a strawberry rain to pour down on the town. For the first time, people witnessed artificially created strawberries, and everyone was captivated by their delicious taste. Is this another one of Princess Berry's inventions? Yes, indeed. I hope everyone likes it. That's the best invention ever! 
When people found out that Barry was the one who created the strawberry rain, they began to admire her and had a different view of her. Princess Barry is the best! Princess Barry is number one! Barry's mother was very proud of her, but didn't forget to advise her daughter. Huh? You did very well. I am proud of you. But is this thing okay? Suddenly, I have a bad feeling about it. Of course it's fine. Your daughter is a genius. Nothing bad will happen. Mom, huh? just rest assured. I've got everything mm. under control from now on. The success mm. led Barry to take a bold step, <laughs> building her own strawberry factory. With her intelligence and strawberry obsession, she created various <laughs> foods from strawberry to delight everyone. In the morning, she treated the town to a strawberry pastry rain. For dessert at noon, there was a strawberry juice rain. And in the afternoon, huh? it was rainbow-colored strawberry candy <laughs> clouds. Receiving praise for her talent, Barry gradually lost her humility and became arrogant. Barry's fame spread, reaching the ears of King Angus of the Kingdom. The king visited Barry's strawberry mm. factory immediately, praising mm. her with valuable treasures huh? as a reward. <laughs> You are the most talented inventor I have ever met. Your invention has solved the difficulties facing the country. I appreciate your effort and will grant you a reward. Thank you, your majesty, for the praise. Soon, the royal family will organize a longevity celebration for me, and there will be many nations attending. This is a rare opportunity for us to assert our position to the whole world. Huh? In this grand feast, it would be magnificent if you could create the world's huh? largest strawberry huh? ever seen, allowing us to proudly showcase the talent of our kingdom to our neighboring country. Upon mm. hearing the king's words, Barry huh? did not hesitate for a moment. <laughs> of course I agree. This is a rare opportunity. I cannot miss it. My mother will be even prouder of me. Contrary huh? to Barry's thoughts, her mother expressed worry and advised her to reconsider. Royal manners are not easy. If not careful, you might pay with your life. Mom, huh? rest assured, I am the only one who can perform this miracle. Everyone will have to admire and applaud me even more. Ignoring her mother's advice, Barry set off for the palace days before the celebration to prepare. The grand celebration included many important guests from both within and outside the kingdom. The king even allowed the townspeople to join, promising a unique strawberry firework display that attracted everyone. On the big day, Barry was excited about her task at the royal feast. This is Barry, mm -hmm. the most talented in our kingdom. Let's anticipate her unique performance, everyone. Certainly. Let this aromatherapy nation shine. Barry began the most unique performance ever seen. Barry approached her invention and performed a series of actions. The machine vibrated, emitting a sparkling and ethereal pink smoke. Suddenly, a beautiful giant strawberry appeared to the astonishment of everyone. The enormous strawberry also released a sweet fragrance, enchanting everyone with the melodious music of the feast. It was indeed a magnificent scene that made everyone cheer with excitement. In the midst of the lively atmosphere, Barry's machine suddenly emitted a strange sound, indicating that it might have been overloaded and needed a rest. Barry quickly informed the king about the situation. Your Majesty, it seems that the machine is giving an alert. However, driven by the desire to become the most developed nation, the king did not allow Barry to stop. Barry, you're not allowed to stop, or I will punish your mother. Had no other choice, Barry reluctantly complied. 
but then the machine couldn't withstand the onslaught. Suddenly, Barry's strawberry invention machine became erratic and uncontrollable. A sparkling pink smoke filled the air, spreading throughout the palace in an instant. The gigantic strawberry suddenly grew larger and larger, causing cracks to appear in the king's castle. People panicked and scattered in fear. And at that moment, the king began to panic in the face of the catastrophic scene. My gosh, how to stop this machine? Barry quickly tried to find a way to stop the machine, but now it was swallowed whole by the giant strawberry, making it impossible for her to approach. The situation was completely beyond her control. Feeling discouraged, Barry's mother appeared. She had followed Barry and discovered that impending disaster. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. I made a mistake by not listening to you. I've caused a tragedy for the innocent people, and I regret it deeply. Now is not the time to despair. Quickly regain your spirits and solve the problems threatening everyone. This image looks so familiar. Yes. The strawberry spray bottle, my invention. Quickly, she brought it out and sprayed it all over the gigantic strawberry. In an instant, the colossal fruit came to a halt and unexpectedly burst into numerous small strawberries huh? that fell all around the castle. Barry had succeeded and she <laughs> ran to embrace her mother in joy. Well done, my daughter. King Angus was Ooh. highly pleased with Barry's intelligence. I made a huh? mistake that led to such consequences, <laughs> but fortunately, you were able to intervene in time. I would be delighted if a talented person like you could work for the royal family. I appreciate your kind offer, your majesty, but I only desire to live with a passion for creativity and beside my mm. mother. Since then, huh? Barry's factory had been huh. growing and gaining more support from people. The story of the Strawberry Princess Barry ended beautifully. Mm. How about you? Do you want to own a strawberry <laughs> factory like Barry? Rumor had it that hundreds of years ago, deep in an ancient mysterious cave in the eastern forest, inhabited the fearsome descendants of the serpent growers. If any of the hawks dare to cross this border, they will pay for that. Therefore, everyone should pay careful attention when looking for herbs in this border area. Clear? Sure. sure! And this was David, a talented warrior of the Hawk tribe, with bright eyes and strong, flexible wings. He always loved and cared for everyone, especially his kind sister Anna. When he knew the Pearl of Life representing the life of the Hawks, as well as Anna didn't have good health from a young age, he did not hesitate to find herbs for her sister in the border areas. One day, while going through the storm, because of her exhausted body, Anna's wings were stuck in the bushes near the eastern forest. David hurriedly flew back to see the situation. However, when David had just rescued Anna, a bolt of lightning struck the cliff causing the rock hit his wing ah! and made him fall into the forest. Oh no! David! In the moment David was falling, suddenly the figure of a giant snake passed by him and disappeared. However, because it was raining harder and harder, Anna's health was not stable. Huh? Plus David had fallen into the territory of the snake tribe. Anna was sad and determined to return to find help from her teammates. As for David, after he woke up, he found himself in a strange cave and his body felt heavy from the wounds on his body. While David was about to leave, suddenly a girl with a mysterious scent appeared, anxious to see his wound. You shouldn't move much. Your wound will get worse. Let me help you. Then the girl gently took out the necklace and put a few drops of sparkling water on David's body, helping the wound on his body gradually heal. <laughs> Thank you for saving me, but who are you? Why are you helping me, and what is this water? Well, I'm Sapphire, 
A bird without wings, with an ugly face. I don't want to reveal it to anyone, so since I was born, I have lived alone in a small cave in this cliff. Besides, I often see you and your teammates flying over here. Today, while I was looking for food, I saw you injured, so I came to help. And this is a magic remedy that I made from precious herbs near this area, capable of helping to heal wounds quickly. So I use it to help you get well soon. Seeing that Sapphire did not want to reveal more, David just nodded, kept the rest of the questions in his heart, and silently observed her day by day. <laughs> Gradually, David realized that even though Sapphire usually didn't talk or express her feelings, every time she came, she took care of him wholeheartedly. Moreover, he enjoyed spending time with her and realized that she had feelings for him too. After the conversation and healing the wound, Sapphire also gave him a strange fang necklace as a gift. However, David discovered that Sapphire was getting weaker and weaker each time she helped him heal. Sapphire, huh? are you okay? David! Huh? It's my sister and comrades. They must have found me here. I can't stay here much longer. I need to leave right now. Sapphire, I see. You don't have to panic. Now, I'll distract them. Uh, please, find a safe place to leave. Huh? Sapphire was surprised to hear David say that, but she nodded and left. As soon as she went out to the back door of the cave, Anna and everyone were already standing there. Sapphire panicked, took a step back, and David rushed out to protect her. David, thank God you're safe and healthy. But who is this? This is Sapphire, huh? who saved my life. But right now, she has an urgent need to leave here. So everyone, please, open the way huh? for her to go. With Anna's sharp eyes, she sensed that there was something wrong with Sapphire. Anna spread her wings and flew toward Sapphire, causing her hat to fall off and revealing the face of the serpent race. This made Anna and the others very surprised and planned to attack Sapphire because she thought Sapphire had bad intentions with David. However, David quickly stopped and created an opportunity for Sapphire to leave. Huh, David, you helped her escape? Maybe you are already mesmerized by her. No, she really took care of me all this time. No more excuses. Hurry and bring David home. Hmm. No, <laughs> let me out. And I will definitely find Sapphire to get that elixir. David was brought back home, but he was still restless and blamed himself for not protecting Sapphire's identity. David had long known she was a serpent through her scent, gestures and actions when she took care of him. was very worried about whether Sapphire was safe now when suddenly the fang lit up, releasing a guiding scent that only he could see to lead him to Sapphire's place. David sneaked out of the nest, looking for Sapphire without noticing that a dark shadow was watching his every move. David followed the scent and found a snake cave in the eastern woods. However, just as he entered, a serpent guardian appeared and stopped him. Oh, people of the Hawks, why did you appear here and want to enter our holy realm? I followed the scent from Sapphire's Fang and came to this place. Now, I would love to see her and examine her wound. It turns out that the person that Princess Sapphire took care of and gave the precious Fang was you. Prove that you are very important to her. However, if you wish to meet the princess, you must give me your wings as a means of communicating with the gods here. I have to trade these wings? But for an elite hawk like me, wings are essential for hunting. Really? Then the princess mistakenly believed. Hmm. However, remembering what Sapphire sacrificed for me, I can't be petty to let her suffer alone at this time. Therefore, I accept to sacrifice these wings. The serpent huh? was startled by David's answer, hmm. smiled turned his wings towards him and disappeared, leaving David to continue his journey. Near the end of the path, David came to a huge gate with the face of a large snake looking up at him. All right, I will open this gate for you, on condition that you exchange your eyes for me. I understand, although these eyes are important to the hawk like me and help me see Sapphire better. But 
if only because of a pair of eyes that I can't see Sapphire again, I'm not willing. Therefore, I am willing to sacrifice these eyes. Very well. Congratulations for completing the challenges. Please come in. Although David did not huh? understand what the door was saying, he still hurriedly followed the scent from the fan to find Sapphire behind the gate. Sapphire saw David and she was very touched. She did not expect David to be willing to sacrifice so many things for her. However, suddenly a strong wind blew between them and caught her. David's great heart, so they embodied huh? to save him in front of the happiness mm. of Anna and Sapphire. Mm. <laughs> David, you are a person rich in compassion. And even when faced with the third challenge, your sister, you still sacrificed <laughs> for everything. It is indeed commendable. With such noble qualities, <laughs> I believe that Princess Sapphire and your sister will always be very proud of you. Then with Sapphire and David's wedding, the two races began to build a peaceful relationship and live happily ever after. In the ancient gem land, there was a mysterious cave the birthplace of talented gems with the task of protecting the peace of this place. In particular, <laughs> with the birth of Jasper, a person who was somewhat <laughs> impulsive but always enthusiastic huh? to help others, together with a gentle, careful lapis, huh? gradually the beautiful <laughs> friendship of the two best gem warriors also flourished and united in the fight <laughs> against the demons. Not only that, but they also possessed a great fusion ability, a symbol of solidarity called Malachite. One day, when the Malachite fusion drove out demons in a forest, they saved Jamie, who claimed to be the king of this land. Thank you for saving me and everyone else. This favor, I don't know how to return it. I wish to be your friend. Faced with the handsome and gentle boy, Jasper and Lapis's hearts suddenly fluttered and immediately returned to their true form to talk to him. This is the mission of gems like us! And if we can be friends with you, we are always willing. Thank you both very much! Hmm. <laughs> However, day by day, Jasper and Lapis's feelings for Jamie deepened, and neither of them gave up. So they decided to huh? confess to him together. Huh? Huh? 
I'm sorry, ladies. Because my country has a rule, each king can only marry one queen, and that queen must be smart, strong, and possess the Ring of Power, which has the ability to control the power of the land in this forest. However, this ring is located deep in the dark cave, where it had many kinds of thorns, illusions, scary surrounding it that ordinary people can't easily enter. Mm -hmm. But I believe that with my magic, I can get the ring and become your wife. <laughs> <laughs> then Jasper and Lapis attempted to fuse into Malachite mm -hmm. to make it easier to get there, but they failed. Huh? Maybe because the jealousy of love has created a competitive and disunity thought, so we can't unite? Well, if we can't fuse into Malachite, let's use our own abilities to get the ring! Soon, Jasper and Lapis reached the giant thorn forest, huh? the first gate to reach the dark cave. However, no matter how hard they tried to overcome them, the huh? thorns grew more and more and created an illusion, sending the two back to the starting point. Suddenly, Lapis noticed the moving trees creating various paths that made them lose their way. Well, if this land of thorns can be crossed by going through it, I'd better create a bridge of thorns across the air to cross it. Think of it. Lapis used her magic to make the thorn bigger, spreading like a bridge to cross. Not only that, but for fear that Jasper might catch up with her, Lapis huh? also cast a spell to make the surrounding thorns grow taller huh? and stronger to block Jasper's way. Sorry, Jasper. Because I really love Jamie, I have to apologize to you this time. Disgusting! If you still want to get Jamie, then don't blame me! <laughs> With that, Jasper turned out the flaming butterflies surrounding Lapis, and then took the opportunity to rush forward. <laughs> Finally, that bridge also led to the dark cave where the Ring of Power was kept. However, when Jasper was about to go in to get the ring, she was stopped by a magical wall, and at the same time, the guardian god of the ring also appeared. Little girls, you must be like many others who want to come here to find the ring of power. However, the owner of the ring must be a wise person. So if you can answer this question of mine, I'll let you in. And remember, you only have one chance to answer. I understand. Please tell me the question. What is underwater and on? Huh? Fire, not boiling, huh? but only dry, standing full at night and hiding huh? during the day. What? Eager to get inside, huh? Lapis had already caught up. Jasper hurriedly replied, Is it a volcano? I know firefly, not a... Sorry, your answer is wrong. Next person. After the puzzle <laughs> failed, Jasper looked sadly at Lapis, who was also pondering the answer. Huh? Well, I'm sure Lapis wouldn't know the answer either. It's an oil lamp. <laughs> the one that Jasper gave me the first day we met. The answer is absolutely correct. Please come in. The sentinel immediately turned out the flying stones that led to the Ring of Power, and then disappeared. <laughs> I'm finally getting the ring, but why? Huh? Why do I feel so sad? Is it because Jasper isn't around? When Lapis was about to return to see Jasper's situation, huh? suddenly Jasper jumped up and used magic to control Lapis. Jasper, let me go. I don't want to hurt you. No! Huh? If I let you go, you'll have Jamie's love. I... Because they were not paying attention during the scuffle, the two of them accidentally caused the ring pillar to collide, resulting in a big tremor in the cave. This caused sharp stalactites to fall towards them, as well as the ring of power. Careful! <laughs> It was when Jasper huh? reframed that she suddenly understood the urgency in front of her. One side was her best friend Lapis, who was about to fall into huh? the thorn trap below, and the other side was the ring that was in danger of being destroyed by a large huh? rock. While Jasper was about to choose the ring, she accidentally saw her reflection on the ring pillar and was startled. Why? Why did I end up like this? For a ring? To abandon my best friend who is willing to sacrifice herself? For my own sake? No, I have to save her! After contemplating mm. what just happened, huh? 
Jasper decided to choose to save her best friend. However, while Jasper was trying to pull Lapis's hand up, someone suddenly jumped by, using the two as a springboard and keeping the ring safe. <laughs> I finally got the ring of power! Jamie! As it turned out, it was Jamie, a demon disguised as a human, who deliberately made use of the magic of Jasper and Lapis from the beginning to obtain the ring. He had followed and watched Jasper and Lapis all the way here and waited for the opportunity to claim the treasure. Disgusting demon! Because of you, I almost lost my best friend! We will definitely beat you! That's awesome! But now, let's see how the magic of the ring will defeat the warriors of the Gemland. Having said that, Jamie summoned his power and split Jasper and Lapis into two to prevent them from forming Malachite to defeat him. Jasper and Lapis struggled, but the ring's magic was too great for them to turn the tide. Lapis, I'm sorry for trusting a bad guy to treat you badly. I was so immature and thoughtless that I acted so rudely. Jasper? I'm also sorry for believing too much in love without thinking and accepting to confront you. Although you can be quick-tempered and impulsive at times, but your nature is a kind person who is enthusiastic to help people. So I am very happy to be friends with you. Even if I have to sacrifice, I will still hold your hands tightly like before. Despite the magical distance created by Jamie, Jasper and Lapis still managed to reach out their arms toward each other. In the end, their powerful beams of light touched each other and helped them fuse into Malachite. Jamie, give back the ring of power and surrender! Well, even if you become Malachite, I won't lose easily. Jamie used the ring of power to direct the sharp stones towards Malachite, but was stopped by her. Enraged, Jamie continued to summon flying rock birds to ambush them, and gradually caused Malachite to be repelled. Huh? The power of the ring is too strong. We can hardly defeat him. Even so, I believe we can still defeat him if we unite, believe, and move forward together. As soon as she finished speaking, a light suddenly appeared in Malachite's hand and transformed huh? into a bow of friendship. Huh? Malachite watched with delight at the bow in her hand and then fired a composite arrow, knocking down all the birds with Jamie with magical light. No! It's impossible! No! In the end, everything went back to the way it was before, and so did the two girls. <laughs> Jasper, thank you for giving us hope to win over Jamie. No, it should be thanks to both of us who have just experienced a valuable lesson about friendship and knowing the value of trust, forgiveness, and mutual respect. And now once again, let's be good friends. Let's move <laughs> forward and develop ourselves together. Since then, Jasper and Lapis had continued to accompany each other on the next journeys. Wow, fairy tales.